I'm Nick Driftwood, filmmaker and Lumix ambassador. HDR, or High Dynamic Range Video, allows a widening of the difference between black and white beyond the contrast range of conventional television. HDR supports specular reflections and highlights, plus extended detail in the shadows, essentially water can glisten, stars can twinkle, and sunlight can be golden. Subject matter can just pop, all whilst maintaining detail in the shadows. Indeed, HDR video can make your footage look more realistic to human vision than ever before. So what is HLG? Hybrid Log Gamma is an HDR format developed by the BBC in conjunction with NHK, Japan's national broadcaster and it was developed to allow broadcasters to broadcast HDR content to those with HDR TVs while still retaining compatibility to those who have SDR TV sets in the home. The HLG format works around this obstacle by coding both SDR and HDR footage into the same broadcasting signal. And when being played back, the HLG signal will display in HDR if your television is compatible with the HLG HDR format. Otherwise, it displays in regular SDR. What is REC 2100 and how does it differ from REC 2020? REC 2020 or BT 2020 defines various aspects of ultra high definition television with standard dynamic range and wide color gamut. It has been expanded in several ways by REC2100. REC2100 builds on REC2020 and also defines high dynamic range HDR formats. REC2100 uses the same color primaries as REC2020, but with different transfer functions for HDR use. REC2100 defines the color spaces of both PQ and HLG. What is the difference between PQ, Perceptual Quantizer, and HLG? PQ signals are absolute values and relate to absolute brightness. HLG is not aimed at any particular screen brightness and is not limited in any way. It is a relative brightness system. PQ also requires an HDR monitor, whereas HLG is compatible with both SDR, Standard Dynamic Range, and HDR in 1000 nits. And that's a quick dive into the current HDR standards. Panasonic.